Hello guys, how's it going? Uh, here we are, and uh, it's day like 97,000 of quarantine, and uh, this is the third week of Jeff and I's uh, NES streams. We're playing classic video games all the way through, and I'm playing the soundtrack along to them. This week Hello, and how's next week, um, uh, hold, we hold on, there's a little bit of feedback loop there. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, you just heard me say, hey guys, again, that was coming from my phone, I'm trying to monitor, you know, who's hanging out and stuff. Oh, what's up, Dave Schweitzer, yeah, Mike Lou in here, oh yeah, yeah, Elliot, what's up guys? Alright, we are going to do this thing very shortly, uh, I'm going to queue it up, Jeff's got a little bit of roll time in the beginning, so I can talk over that until he uh, starts, maybe I'll just, you know what, I'm just going to play over it, I'm just going to play over it, and uh, here we go. Guys, this is one that has been like a very influential video game to me for a very long time, The Legend of Zelda. Um, some of my earliest memories of, at all are of playing this game and getting to like the last dungeon and playing it with my mom. And we made, my dad worked at uh, a place where we had like big poster board that he would bring home sometimes and we just drew out the full map. And I wish I stood, I wish I had any idea where that is right now. But um, we did it and it was very fun, um, really great. You know, bonding experience with my parents with <laughs> video games. But anyway, um, we are going to do The Legend of Zelda tonight. And, uh, you know, here we go. Good evening, everybody. Happy Friday. Scott and I are back for another fun time here. Um, turn my volume down a little bit. There we go. All right. So, it's good to be back, everybody. Scott and I will be playing Legend of Zelda. That's what you're seeing right here. The idea today is to get through Dungeons 1 through 5. We're going to split this up into two weeks. Uh, but dungeons one through five will get us to about 12 heart containers and try to get us as many treasures as possible. So we're going to uh, move through this game as quickly as possible. But at the same time, I want to show you all the secrets and maybe you'll remember some of these things. But uh, we want to get the potions and uh, we want to get the letter, uh, all the swords. We're going to end up getting uh, magical shield, both boomerangs, uh, the bow. We're going to get bombs and, and the arrow, blue candle, uh, blue ring power bracelet, recorder, raft, step ladder, and so on. So I definitely do hope you enjoy. And again, I hope you remember some of these things. I'm going to be playing the game while Scott will be playing the uh, music on piano. So uh, this is another Koji Kondo uh, composed game. So let's get started here. Uh, this was one of the first games you could actually put in your name ahead of time as opposed to just putting your three initials in as a high score. Um, so you, um, I think these are five or six characters you can put in. So you can put more than just ass now. Um, you can do something like ass hat or, um, or, or, or uh, there, there's many other asses you could probably use. But if you want to keep it PG, um, let's do that for today and do this word here. which if you look up in the uh, Urban Dictionary, you will uh, see its true definition of Bujack. So, mm -hmm. All right, so again, welcome aboard. Uh, we hope to entertain you for a little while. And um, yeah, let's do this. If Scott is ready, and I think he is, let's move ahead. So um, in three, two, a one, go. Welcome to Hyrule. This is where we are. This is where Link is. 
and this is where the eight pieces of the Triforce have been broken up by Princess Zelda to hide them from Ganon because Ganon stole the first power Triforce so she broke up the wisdom one and sent it out throughout the whole place so we're gonna go out and pick them all up because she got kidnapped so and uh, in order to do that we have no weapons right now so let's uh, hop in this little area here get ourselves a sword it's dangerous to go alone He's right, though. Let's do this. So we're going to progress east um, and hope to find some bombs. Because the whole idea of, uh, even before we go to the first dungeon, we want to stack up our heart containers. As you can see right now, we have three. Three is not a lot. Um, that's like six hits from enemies. And not every enemy gives you um, kind gifts. So... We want to preserve those, but at the same time, we want to increase our uh, ability to hold health. So we're going to head east. We're going to try to find bombs. If an enemy gives us bombs, then we're on our way. We can start bombing walls and collecting heart containers. Um, they're all over the map, so we're going to be all over Hyrule here. And But uh, if no one gives us bombs, we're going to head off to a shop so we can buy it. So we need to get rupees before then. So let's progress. Scott will be playing the music from the game. Um, not only this game, but he's going to be sneaking in uh, songs from other Zelda franchised games. Franchise, but other um, releases of Zelda. Let's see if we can figure those out when they do pop up. We're going to take a kind of slow in the beginning because like I said three heart containers is just not a lot and every hit counts and every rupee counts and we don't seem to be getting those so we need to work on that When your heart containers are full, you're able to uh, throw your sword, which is a lot handier than having to battle face to face. Oh, nice. Bombs. So that means we don't have to go to the shop. More bombs. What's up? So let's work our way back here. We'll end up going to that shop where we would get the bombs eventually to buy arrows. But, um, for secret. So there's many of these little shops where we can choose a heart container or a potion. The red potions are worth two fill-ups of all of your heart containers or your full life. So if you're low, you use one of those, it fills it up. The red gives you two. So after you use a red one, you're left with a blue one, which is the value of only one fill up. So you don't really want to take these here because this is really your only chance to fill up your heart containers. You can always buy uh, potions. So I recommend always picking up your heart container. Let's work north. Uh, this is the basic sword wooden sword I think so it is weak so these guys take a lot of hits so sometimes it's just better to ignore them I want the heart. So um, there are five hidden heart containers in the uh, overworld. So we're going to get um, three of them 
to give us six hearts before we enter the first dungeon because the other two you can't get until you progress and beat the other dungeons. So uh, we're going to go on a hunt for rupees right now. There are three areas in the overworld where you can find 100 rupees in one sitting. So that is the goal right now, is to go find at least two of those because you can only hold um, 255 rupees at a time, so it would be pointless to get all of them. So what we want to do is, actually, let's go up here. We're going to get a letter. Essentially, it's a prescription. You show this to the old woman in the store, and she will offer you potions. Uh, without this letter, you are not able to buy potions at all. All right, this, if I go in that tree, that is a gambling zone, that is a casino. Instead, I walk through the wall, down here. And we get 100 rupees. So as you can see, uh, or here, Scott is playing the music and I'm playing the sound effects live right here. So, um, so we're playing the whole game as it goes. All right, let's go collect some more hidden stuff. So I have a kind of a route that I want to follow. Um, I am going to get lost. I am going to forget where I am and forget where I'm going, just like real life. And uh, we're going to have to deal with that and just take a breather and figure out what I'm doing. But as of right now, uh, what I want to do is go buy the blue candle so we can start burning some trees down and get some more secrets. I'm so careful, I just miss them all the time. Alright. I'm sure a lot of you are screaming out right now, yeah, burn that tree, go get that secret. Oh, I'll get them all. In due time. Alright, so we're back at the beginning now. Let's go up here. 30 rupees up here, and I have to kill these guys. And one thing you want to get used to is um, blocking uh, enemies' fire with the sword. And just by doing that, you just have to face them. But you can't be using your sword at that time. So when that uh, projectile hits you, your sword has to be, or your uh, shield has to be up. And then as you progress, and as we We'll see. Um, there's the magical sword or a magical um, shield. That's way better. Buy something, will ya? All right, this is where we get the uh, blue candle. Blue candle has two purposes. You light it can light up a dark room, or uh, or kill an enemy or burn down a bush. Um, you can only use it once per screen. So you actually have to leave a screen, come back to use it. Where do I want to go here? Um, So 
So what we want to save up for now, we want to get 250 rupees and get, um, what's in here? It's another hard to do. All right, so now we have, we have at this point we have all the heart containers you can possibly get right now in the uh, the overworld without having the ladder or the raft. So we'll get those later. Um, so right now, again, we have enough heart containers. So we want to go get the um, eventually the master sword or the um, magical sword. No, no, we want to get the white sword. Uh, the white sword is uh, only available when you have six heart containers. So let's go get that, um, but let's also get the um, the blue ring, which will upgrade our uh, our gear. So we need 250 rupees for that. So let's go get that first. So much to get. thousand different ways to get everywhere. Just gotta choose the, the best way. Without like getting killed. So this is where we will get the ring. Um, obviously, we don't have enough rupees yet, but I uh, just wanted to kind of open that up, get that ready to go there. Also, want to kind of farm some hearts. Actually, let's go. Um, let's go find a pond so we can fill up here. This one right here. Ah, <sighs> all right. get another uh, hundred rupees here. These guys are just kind of like run as fast as you can and get out of there. So we have 163 uh, rupees. So when I get this, it's only going to give us 255. So we're actually losing a little, but it's okay. Let me just get this. Uh... This uh, armor. Let's refill again here.
So if you kill all the enemies on a screen, um, the game kind of remembers for maybe five or six screens, but by the time you come back, those enemies will be there. If you leave one enemy on the screen, the game remembers that, and that screen will always have only one enemy. It'll never refill all the rest of the enemies until you kill that one. Boy, this is really expensive. It is. We're about to drop it. Ready? Stimulus. Go. And rupees drop. All right. So now you notice Link is gray, or it's supposed to be blue, really, but um, but that's the blue ring. So every hit on us, what would have taken a heart before, it only takes a half heart now. So all the hits are a half um, the power on us. So this is good, um, but we still only have the wooden sword. So let's go get the white sword now that we have um, six hearts. Because again, that's the requirement. There isn't much more we have to buy, uh, just at least now, so um, let's just progress and get that sword, and I think we can move ahead to the first dungeon. We seem pretty powered up here. I gotta remember what the sword is, though. There's a uh, shield there. See, I just got hit. There's level one right there. I just got hit and it took nothing off, which was really awesome. Secret to Urabada. Alright. Oh, I'm trying to think of where the sword is. Maybe it's this way. I totally forgot. So what's cool about this game is, you know, as opposed to the other two games we did over the last couple weeks, uh, like Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, where I played it constantly, every day, all day, um, this game, honestly, a lot just came back to me from when I was young. Like, I used to play this game all day, every day, and uh, I know a lot from it. So, I was just, uh, I did it, I think I played it five or six times uh, through the first five dungeons and after that it was uh, kind of like second nature again. It was awesome. Oh, you can't block those. I forgot. This guy's not even worth it. Master using it. So again, six hearts and get your white sword. So now everything is double uh, the punch or double the strength on all of our hits so and then there's one more sword called the master sword and we'll get that um before the end of this run as well so like i said this guy is just he takes like 10 hits oh, man. takes 10 hits just to kill him in general so let's get out of this madness because i have a feeling this isn't gonna turn out well And if for some reason I do die, it's not the end of the world. You just go back to the beginning, uh, but you still have all the items that you collected along the way, which is pretty cool. Very happy about that. Oh man, no, 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 give me that. <laughs> Let's just go. All right. Um, Dungeon 1. This one starts off with a really cool secret, so let's do this. Alright, uh, Dungeon 1. I have different uh, frames for all the dungeons, so this will be kind of cool. Alright, so cool thing here is there's a key to the left and a key to the right as well. Uh, this is a key door, and as you can see at the top we don't have any keys. Which is awesome because we can do this. Go back in, and the key door is open. 
So, we're still going to collect both keys on both sides, but we don't have to use one. So now we're going to start a surplus of keys, which is kind of what you really want to do. And in this uh, dungeon, we're going to get the boomerang and the bow. And the Triforce and a heart container. So we've got a lot to get. Everybody in this dungeon's pretty simple. This is definitely a trainer dungeon. There aren't a lot of secrets. There's a few walls to bomb. Um, for the most part, I'm going to keep to the original gameplay. Um, I'm not going to take too many shortcuts. I might take a few. But I like this game for everything that was included in it. So I don't really want to uh, short the gameplay on this. I think there's a lot of really cool things to show. So I hope you agree. So Legend of Zelda in 19, uh, well, it was being built, or at least designed and, and programmed in 1985, the uh, same time that Super Mario Bros. 1 was being developed by the same exact people. So Shigeru Miyamoto, uh, one of the developers, and uh, Takashi Tezuka, another one of the developers uh, from Super Mario Bros., this is an old man giving us some wise words, which we already knew. Um, they were developing Super Mario Bros. 1 and this game at the same exact time. And what they would do is really cool. At meetings, um, whenever anybody would come up with a new idea, they would separate the ideas into Zelda ideas or Mario ideas. And because both games were very, very different. One's a platformer and the other's an action adventure. So uh, they wanted to keep both games pretty exciting, but at the same time not, not alike. So they came up with a lot of cool ideas, and a lot of ideas from this game made it in Super Mario Bros. 3, which is really cool too. There's a lot of little uh, fun facts there. So we're actually progressing up to get the... What are we getting here? I don't even know. Um, I think it's the bow. We'll get the boomerang down uh, in some of the southern areas here. Just trying to work our way to the eagle head. But Super Mario Bros. 1 uh, in Japan was released uh, in October or maybe November 85 and this was February 86 and then in America I think like a year later or something I'm not sure but it took the world by storm this is one of the first action adventure games or it, it was the first action adventure game for a Nintendo system um, the game adventure for Atari uh, 2600 it was released in 79. It was very basic, very similar to this, separate rooms. You go, you, tr you try to you know, get your way out of the room to another part of the room or another room in general. And there's secrets on each one. And so it's very similar to this, but th they take adventure to a whole different um, level, which actually adventure was the uh, working title of this game when they were developing it. And they eventually wanted to call it Legend of Something or The Legend of Something. And they had no idea what they wanted to do. And I think just one of the people on the R&D team came up with Zelda and they said, let's do it. All right, this is where we get the boomerang. Got to beat all these guys here. Yeah. And this is the basic boomerang. There's nothing special about this one at all. And what it does is it stuns your opponent so that you can take them down a lot easier. It also kills bats. So this guy, I just go gung-ho because it's only three hits with the white sword, so I just do it. Heart container gotten. Um, so everything we got in here was the, uh, the bow. We got the boomerang, as you can see here. We got that. 
Uh, can't use the bow at all until we buy arrows, which is cool. Uh, we, I think we almost went to every you know, stage in this one, but regardless, we might have missed a couple. Dungeon 1. So I think we're actually just going to go right to Dungeon 2. Um, and then we'll get the arrows. We'll get some more stuff uh, for Dungeon 3. But for right now, let's, let's make our way over to 2. Just get that over with. Get another heart container. to. It's good to have Scott play the, the fairy music. It's good. Alright, let's work our way over to world. I say world. There's level. There's world. Like that. Um, but dungeons is the real term. Desert? Yeah, it is. It was so fun growing up and putting this game in, not having any maps, not having any hints, not having any strategies, just going, all right, what is this world all about? And it was really, you know, your first taste into these RPG action adventure, um, yeah, like enveloped in a world game. All right. Ready for Dungeon 2? All right, moon. So all these dungeons are named after shapes, characters, whatever. Um, the first one was eagle. This is moon. Uh, in moon, I think um, I've got a list here of stuff that we can get. So we're going to get the magical boomerang here. And then the triforce and the, the heart container as well. These guys are freaks. <laughs> the first two dungeons they give you more keys than you need and then the third dungeon um, there's actually doors that you shouldn't ever have to even go in uh, and use a key for so um, but they trick you sometimes and if you don't have enough keys you can't get so you have to leave, you have to go buy keys. So uh, we want to use our keys sparingly. I think we can bomb through that wall, but again, I'm, I'm going to go uh, stage by stage here. So some of these rooms, you kill one enemy and it kills them all, um, which is really cool. 
So it's good to find that one enemy sometimes. Most of the time, no. You'll find that one enemy as the last enemy you kill on that stage. It's quite annoying. upgrade our boomerang in here even though we just got the other one um, the boomerang in here uh, goes fully across the screen as opposed to this one that only goes halfway across the screen we just got it didn't see it so now yeah it goes all the way across what's cool about the boomerang you can go like diagonal which is awesome use that a lot. Don't really need bombs. And again, I think you can bomb this wall up here, but let's, um, let's keep all of our bombs. So, the most bombs we can have right now is eight. I think it's in uh, Dungeon 4. You can uh, have an opportunity to buy uh, the ability to stock 12 bombs, which is extremely handy because there's some enemies that require a lot of bomb use. And if you miss once, this is... You know what? I'm not going to use the key. To the, the boss's lair, you can hear him. All right, there's more bombs, but we don't even need them, and we can't even fill them. So, uh, this is, I think his name's Dongo, I think. I uh, just have to put um, bombs in his mouth. Two bombs. But if you miss too many, you run out of bombs, and you have to leave and come on back. Dude, that went right through him. All right, so I'll show you how, how to do this here. There's one, done. <laughs> All right, dungeon two with the uh, boomerang. We're doing well here. Let's not screw it up. Okay. So we're going to want to get to uh, Dungeon 3 eventually here. So again, I have uh, my list. Um, the things that we want to get now, um, we want to get the Magical Shield. So we want to buy uh, the Stronger Shield before we get to Dungeon 3, just to have some more life behind us. So I think it is 90 rupees. So I think we have enough. So let's go to the shop in the cheapest place. Um, so there's there's expensive places, but there's also um, places you can find these items a lot cheaper than other places. And I love finding a deal, you know? So I'll leave one enemy here, and every single time I come back to that room, there'll only be one enemy. The others will not respawn unless they're all killed. But sometimes you want enemies to appear so you can gather some stuff. So we want to work our way to the corner, the corner that I burnt. Oh, I didn't burn it yet. Yeah, 
This is where you get your deals. Okay, shield, 90. Um, this is very expensive elsewhere. So this is the cheapest place you will find the shield. And as you can see from my, um, my silhouette or my side uh, shot, my um, shield is huge. If there's one enemy called the Like Like, they're kind of like a springy dude. If he catches you, he steals your, your um, shield and you have to buy it again. So uh, sometimes that happens accidentally. So hopefully that won't happen, but can't promise anything. All right, so we got the shield. Let's work our way to um, Dungeon 3, which is down in the desert. So, if you look at the screen here, um, you see that symbol. Uh, that is uh, indeed a swastika, uh, but it's the rotation is different than the the um, the way Nazi Germany used to use it. This is the uh, Buddhist way, or, or I think there's, it's used many many ways in different cultures. So. Um, that is what that is, <laughs> so it's not, I'm not trying to promote anything here. Uh, that is literally the map of the Manji, so. All right, let's go uh, do this. We, um, we want to keep our bombs to a minimum, I think, on this one, because there are some walls I want to bomb. Let's switch this. Stop the things. It's too slow. And I don't know what rooms give you what. Sometimes I forget, so it's, most of the time I just kill everybody in the rooms. It's just in case they give you a key that you might need. These guys suck. You can only hit them when they're not faced towards you. So. The best strategy for this um, is from far away, because oh, nice bombs! Because they take a lot of energy away from you. And they give you a lot of bombs, apparently, and bombs kill them uh, a lot quicker. But we want to keep those. This is one of the hardest rooms in the game because there's just like, I, it's like I haven't even gotten a hit on anyone yet. <sighs> Come on. You want to kind of like isolate. So that they're not coming at you in groups. I had you, you know it. Yeah, because you kind of want to concentrate on one at a time. We'll get that. That's handy. Alright. And we're just going to avoid all these guys. Actually, if you kill all those guys in that room, they give you bombs, which I don't think we need more bombs, or actually we can't even hold more bombs. So there's our raft. Now we can go get that other heart container that we wanted to get. Getting out of here without getting hit is great. Okay. And same thing. All right, we already killed everyone in this one. 
Now those fuzzy things, they don't hurt you at all, but they take your sword for like five seconds. But but not your uh, not your boomerang. So you can use that, but boomerang doesn't necessarily hurt many people, they just stop them. And if I kill everybody in this room, uh, I get bombs, but again, uh, I'll keep those just in case I need to come back and get them. And this one I want to kill everybody and get a key. Get key rich here. Think up doesn't do anything. Actually, you know what? Think up gets... I don't know, let's try it. We got enough keys. Another difficult one. I kind of want to wait around corners. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, God. No. They do these 180s, man. Sneaky bastards. Dude. Alright. So. We have four and a half hearts. Every hit on this guy takes a half heart. We don't have any potions, so hopefully we can do this. No, I'm gonna use some bombs just in case. All right, let's go. Look at that, look at that. Oof. Oh man, one bomb takeout. You don't, you don't see, and I, I waited too long to get those bombs, so I didn't get them. Um, yeah, ooh, you, you dream about those, those uh, types of hits. That was beautiful, that was nice. All right, level three. Take him down. All right, so we just have uh, four and five we want to get through here, but let's go, uh, let's go collect some more heart containers, get our magical sword, and um, yeah, let's get stacked. Stacked with goodness. So we're going to get... Um, let's work our way to the arrows first. Yeah, let's, let's go get the arrows. And on, on after that, get the arrows in here. Now, 
Um, there's a lot of times I'm like, oh, I, I think I can burn that bush, and I think that gives you something special, which it might. Sometimes they take rupees away from you. So you find a secret, you burn down a tree, and you're like, oh, right on, there's a cave here. And you get in there, and it's a dude saying, you know, you, you burnt down my door. Like, give me 20 rupees, and you have to pay him to get out of there. So I'm not going to show you those, because I kind of want to... Oh, you know what I am going to show you? I kind of want to keep my rupees. I think there's something there, right? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah. Hundy. Okay. Now we got plenty. Plenty of money. In the beginning of the game, these things used to take three or four hits. Now they take one. So this is the advantage of stacking yourself instead of, like, waiting... do this. Just do it right. Collect all the stuff you possibly can before you even start the game. Or start any dungeons. Alright. Arrows. See, now the shield is 130 here. We got it for 90 over there. Yeah. All right, arrows. It's nice to have. Now we can use our bow and arrow. All right, so we have the raft. Um, that is not going to get us over to that heart. We need the stepladder for that, which I don't know why. It's still over water, but you know, rules is rules. Again, we want to take a heart, and this actually reminds me, uh, we're going to want to buy some potion, so um, let's do that whenever we uh, get a chance to. I'm not sure where there's an old woman here. Alright, we have ten heart containers, we need two more before we can get the uh, Master Sword, so actually, you know what, we're going to have to wait off on the Master Sword idea until um, a few more hearts. So this rock, so once we get the red bracelet, actually let's go get the red bracelet. Um, you can move certain items with the red bracelet, which is really cool. And World 5's are up there, but we're not going to go there yet. Yeah, let's go get the bracelet. Actually, should I go? Oh, there's like a thousand different ways to go for everything. You never know if it's the best way or not. But it really is technically like you know, going home and there's like one route that's uh, one minute faster. And you're like, oh, we got to take that route. It's like, okay. Um, you know, I did go the wrong way. want to get to is the other side of Death Mountain there. And I think the only way to do that is to go all the way. Yeah, all right, you have to go this way. Where we were before, head up this way. Oh, wait, no. It's this way. It's definitely not up there. down and around the lake and come up. It's up there, so we have to 
Yeah, we have to come down. We don't have the step ladder yet. The step ladder you can walk across. Um, so actually, we might want to wait for that to get there. Red plate bracelet, but let's see. You know what? Let's just go to four well right here. Might as well. All right. So in four, um, there's the step ladder. Is the the special item we want to get in here? So um, there isn't much to this level. It's it's, uh, it's adventurous. Some of the rooms are dark. Um, Actually, sometimes you just want to throw a fire in there, and sometimes all the bats go towards the fire, which is cool. But These guys, I just avoid them completely avoid them. They don't ever give you anything. They literally are a waste of time. But let's get the compass at least, so it's they turn into bats. Red bats at that. They just steal energy away. Let's get out of there. Oh, I didn't get potion. If you hit him just right, like if you fire this and then the uh, boomerang right away, you can kill both the bats. Um, if you're lucky. I don't think they're going to get anything actually. I don't think they ever do. Let's see. So this is, um, I think this is where you need to get the step ladder. Oh no, not yet. Next one. You have to get it. They actually can force you to get it in order to beat the level. These guys, uh, they will steal your uh, just your um, shield, just outright. So what you want to do is you want to freeze them, get a lot of shots on them, because they take a lot of hits. And of course, when you get hit by the fuzzy thing, uh, they take your sword away.
very careful around these guys because, again, the um, shield is quite expensive. Luckily, these guys don't take any energy off. Actually, you know what? Let's just beat these guys there. Uh, you know what? It's not. Oh, this is the. Yeah, this is nothing. You can't get to that. Um, you can't get to the map from where. Let me safe here. So I can just go. Ah, come on. Go. Now, step ladder, you can get across. Bust down through. Yeah. See, that's the way to do it. Pause, boom, get him. Boom, get um, keep them. So this is like the pre-boss. This is the boss from the last dungeon. Let's see if we can get him on. Ooh, almost. Yeah, he's, he's, there you go. Yeah, he's tough once you, once you take off a couple limbs. He's really pissed. red bats before you go after another guy because they uh, they move quick. They give you nothing. Alright. Here we go. This was the boss that I was talking about um, in the last one. I thought this was it. So uh, This one you just have to hit in the heads. And I'll say heads because there's two. Uh, destroy one head, it flies off, starts to fly away. Um, you got to destroy the other one. So sometimes, this is just one, especially when you have full energy like I have, just go at it. Just take out the heads and go, and they, you know, they give you life back after you're done. So I don't want to keep um, my sword, my long sword, as much as possible. So I will avoid these hits. Until I can't, and then since I can't anymore, I'll just go after him. There we go. Replenished. Another heart container. <laughs> and level four complete. 
Oops. Need to do that. My bad. Alright, we're back in the outworld. Yeah! Alright. So let's go get some potion. Because I'm going to need it. need any more um, rupees or anything. We're pretty pretty set. This way, I think. Ooh, I get lost in this game so much. Some of these like stages look alike. And I always think I'm in a different area and I'm like, oh wait, across the screen. So let's work our way east to go get that last heart container, and then we'll go get the Master Sword. Or the Magical Sword. I keep calling it the Master Sword, but it's the Magical Sword. And then we'll try to find... Um, this room. We'll try to find some potion along the way. Again, 68, good price. Could probably get two of them, but I think you can only store one at a time. But yeah, you use that, and um, even if you use it accidentally, it gets used. So you want to uh, make sure your item is deselected, or at least selected not as that. So stay tuned. Um, oh, uh, after we're done, um, Scott's going to debut a new track, which I'm very excited about. And I'm going to play uh, a game along with it. Who knows what it could be? Let's get this heart. Gia. All right. We have 12 hearts now. Now we can get the magical sword. Let's go do that because I kind of know exactly where that is. How do I do it? Because now that I have the stepladder, I can walk over um, water that is uh, one block wide. Visit that room. Come on. Uh, they'll all be back. So we're going to 
gonna go get the red bracelet and the sword, I think. Yeah. So the bracelet's hidden behind this guy here. Yeah, we got it. Ooh, get out of here. I'll reset him because I gotta go back that way to get the sword. Alright. So again, as you can see at the top right, uh, red bracelet. What that allows me to do is to move certain blocks to take warp zones, so, such as over there. Um, if I uh, move one of those blocks now, it'll move and we can warp anywhere. But um, I think world six is up there, like right? seven. I'm not sure. All right, we're in the graveyard, which is cool. This one, go down there. And 12 hearts gives us the ability to take on Zisord. Okay, so I think we um, we have every item you can get up to this point in the game. So that's a good thing. So let's um, let's go to to world five. Let's get out of here which is on the other side of the world. No, it's just up here to the right. I would like to refresh my energy. Uh, we want to have 100 rupees and at least 8 bombs going into this world. So, um, Um, five is right up here, but again, we need to go in here with a hundred uh, rupees. So, oh, we can't get out of there, can we? Oh man, the level just keeps repeating. So we gotta go this way, and then seriously, what? Let's, we'll gamble on the next episode. guys will give me a uh, if I bomb one of these walls there's a gambling area there but I don't know which one it is in particular so I don't want to waste a bunch of bombs. So I'm gonna go back and just harvest five Yeah, 101. All right, let's go do this. So to summarize, we do have the magical sword. We have the magical shield. We have the blue ring, which gives us that different attire. You can still get the red ring, which gives you even more, um, more uh, hitting advantage, I guess, or getting hit will take less damage. Um, so you have to uh, follow this five times, and there you are, and then this guy pops out of nowhere. Love that one. All right, here we go. Um, dungeon five. And again, let me just kind of go through the list here. We got the potion, which is awesome. Um, so in this world, we're going to get the recorder and we're going to get the ability to hold 12 bombs, which is um, really clutch. So. Yeah, we're on 
five. All right, lizard is the name of this one. These cat looking things go down with one arrow if you can hit them. Um, if not, it takes three hits from the magical sword, which is a lot. And they take off a lot of energy when they hit you, so and energy is something I want to keep right now. We are going to take one shortcut in this level. so. There's an area, um, so I, I beat these guys, and that door opens up there. If I go in there, there's three enemies. Um, so it's the Dongo guys, which I'm going to show you anyways. Um, and you have to use two bombs on each of them, and that's if you hit them perfectly, it takes six bombs, and you only have two left over. Um, and so if you miss more than two, you have to leave and go get more bombs. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a little shortcut here, bomb this, box it there. Right. And the funny thing about this room is um, if you break in here with the bomb, obviously you can get out because I put a hole through the wall. If you come in through the top here, the door locks behind you. And you, uh, it looks like you have to defeat all the guys to get back out of that door. Well, what happens is um, they don't, uh, the door does not open at all. So you're actually trapped in there. Um, okay, I gotta concentrate here. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. These guys are a pain. Oh, you can't even do anything, can you? All right, one at a time. That's what we're gonna do. Just take them down one at a time, unless they escape. All right, one. There's two. Ooh, it, there's like two walking together. Oh, frig. They take up so much energy. But I do have a double potion, which is awesome. We're going to go to a certain part of this level, it's kind of hidden, and there's two doors. So you want to have two keys here. Um, you want to also have enough bombs. So um, you're going to go through this door here, and it kind of looks like, oh, it's just a key room. No. Bombs. I think it's this way. Yes. And it's the old man again. So I have 100 rupees. I am going to buy this. And notice now I have 12 bombs when my limit before was only 8. So not only do they give you the ability of 12, but they give you. So we got that. Now we want to go get something else. Now. Oh, the recorder. Oh, of course. All right. Yeah. Um, these guys again. So you know, we just have to take our time here. Aim the sword in the right direction. Sometimes you can like hide out in this door and hop out. It just it just takes too long. Like I might as well not even play if I'm gonna do that. Alright. I'm not risking this. <laughs> Sometimes you just you don't wanna risk it. You wanna just go ahead with what you got. Does it, these guys. So you can 
hide in here and then like hop out once in a while but if you go like all the way through it resets all the guys you've been working on all the, their numbers yeah nice all right now i can hit from far away Got him. All right. I don't want to lose my ability to throw my sword. So I want to get rid of these guys. Oh, yeah. Wait, where is it? Alright, um, yep, let's work our way back and uh, head to the boss. Just gotta reopen this. All these guys are back. And I am not into fighting these guys twice, so I am just going to run like a scared rabbit. Actually not, I'm just going to go. Let's get out of here. This should open automatically. Oh, no, i these guys again. I don't remember who the boss is on this one. So that normally you want to destroy these guys. Um, again, that would be to go left and uh, we don't need to do that. So Because we bombed that wall. I have to do some of these levels without lighting up the room. Left, I don't think it's. I think that's just back on the path again. Got a bunch of these guys. So, in order to even beat the guy, I, I remember what the boss is on this one. In order to even beat him, you have to have the recorder because you have to make him small first with the recorder, and then finally. Um, you can destroy him with two hits. It's not, he's not that difficult at all. But, um, all right, and then I'm gonna grab this key and just run because I could try to defeat everyone in here, but it's just not worth it because I don't get anything out of it. having this um this magical sword it's it's everything you could sit here for like you know six hits i think on these guys and instead it's like two so it's nice and there's another room where i just want to run because it's not fair i can bomb through that top okay so here's the boss you can bomb through that top um but all you get is a message from the old man all right Boom, that easy. And we're out of here. All right, that is five levels, or five dungeons of Zelda. Um, 
yeah, there's much more to do in this game. And uh, I feel like we uh, have a good, good start on it. So there's three sections of Triforce left, meaning um, Dungeon 6, 7, and 8. And then you go to Dungeon 9 to uh, beat Ganon. So uh, we have a lot of items. Uh, there's more to get. But yeah, we're on a pretty good start here. So uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for tuning in for this week's edition of Scott and Jeff Play Video Games. And uh, I'm going to let Scott kind of play you out. And then we have a surprise for you this week. So I'm going to let him kind of prep that for you. And I'm going to disappear for a second. Unplug um, my Nintendo. Plug in a different system. And, uh, and do something different here. So um, I am going to see you guys out with a toot. And um, I'll see you in a moment. Let me get rid of this guy and do 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 do. I'll be back. Jeff Bujak on the NES controller, everybody. Holy cow, man, oh, that was excellent. Oh, that was so much fun. Um, so I was throwing some other themes in there. Um, you may have recognized not the Zelda theme at uh, some point, and that was the theme from The Adventure of Link, which is the second Zelda game that came out uh, shortly after the original Zelda, and it was much different. It was a side-scrolling game. It still had some like overhead elements to it, but it was mostly side-scrolling and kind of an RPG, which nobody expected, and uh, as amazing of a game it was, uh, it was kind of a weird turn for the series that didn't even have like a real precedent except for just the first game. Um, so they went back to that for like Link's Awakening, Link to the Past. So I played uh, some Link's Awakening as well. I played the uh, the theme from that and um, the palace theme from Zelda 2, the shop theme from Zelda 64. Uh, I saw everybody really recognized everything, so that was super cool. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start... The, the beginning of this song, uh, it's, it's called Rainbow Road. It's uh, from Mario Kart 64. And the beginning of the song starts with like a piano intro, generally speaking, for the recorded version. So I decided I would start it live and then send it to uh, the track. And also the track being played live by Jeff. Uh, I guess not live, but being played by Jeff. And uh, it kind of lines up right with the last uh, notes of the end of the song. So it's kind of cool. He did a couple of jumps and it was really super, super sweet. So that being said, finish my coffee finally. All right, coffee's over. Victory. Oh, that's a sour. Cool. That's delicious. Sour monkey. Sour monkey. All right, cool. Delicious and strong. All right. <laughs> so here we go. I am going to start this off and then uh, going to let the computer take care of the video and audio playback after that. Here we go. Rainbow Road.
Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for Jeff for doing all this stuff and uh, just being awesome. I mean, like, the, <laughs> I basically said, like, one thing to him about it. He's like, oh, yeah, I, know, I got it all set up. Let's go. Like, okay, let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so here we are. Um, thank you guys for hanging out, for listening to that last track. Um, I'm kind of trying to do one of them every I don't know, two weeks. It seems, <laughs> seems lofty, but, uh, one, one week seems lofty. Two weeks seems doable, but, uh, either way I've been having a lot of fun producing these tracks and, uh, putting them out there and playing all this stuff for you guys. Um, next week we will finish up the legend of Zelda and, uh, we might have an encore kind of thing again like this, but maybe something else. I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, we'll get there when we come to it. Thank you guys again so much for watching thank you to caitlin for bringing me a beer that i can now enjoy and uh yeah let's hang out <laughs> sometime when we can all right take care guys love you all stay safe see you soon